What we're doing here is we're actually assisting Amtrak in the building of one of their automatic signal locations in the East River Tunnels. There were five locations that were damaged. Uh, this is actually one of the locations in uh, Line 1 that were damaged that we're actually were building for Amtrak. We received the location on, on actually on Monday. Uh, they're actually looking to install it on Wednesday night. Well, one of the issues is that right now we don't, we're not running at a full 100% service right now. Uh, so that is an impact to our customers at this moment. Um, one of the things that they need to do is get these locations in as soon as possible. The original cases were completely submerged in uh, seawater and brackish water, completely destroying all the electronic components. Uh, what happened was the flood went up to the catenary. Now the catenary is uh, 15 feet above track level. And I understand the water level was just short of that. A few days ago, it is completely empty. No components, no wood, no wiring, no tagging. So in three days, we had to take these boards, fire retardant paint, terminals mounted, brackets mounted, equipment supplied by Amtrak for their, uh, their particular type of circuitry. And all the wires are in a process now of being run. Eventually, every wire will be tested. Every wire had to be tagged. Currently, we have, we've been having two shifts work 12 hours, so this has been a 24-hour operation since December 3rd. And we're hoping to have the wiring completed sometime at the end of Friday and uh, some testing to be done Saturday. A lot of people don't realize that signaling is for safety. This is what keeps trains from hitting each other, detecting broken rails, and allowing a lot of trains into a given block. Right now, because of the uh, outage, the, uh, they have to use uh, old rules to keep the trains separated one at a time. That's why we had to cancel certain trains and there are certain delays. And certainly we want to be back for Christmas for uh, 100%. The good thing about this is this is a collaboration with Amtrak. They've been very cooperative with us. And of course they have to be because this is actually their uh, actual location. So in order to do that, we had to get plans from them. We had to get layout designs and they had to provide all of the material. And of course, we just provide the labor to do the installation. So working closely with Amtrak is able to allow us to complete this.